My good friend, the international practice pad mogul, Bill Sanders, bought me one of his brand new S-pads to try out. So I'm going to uh, give you a quick demonstration of what this is and what it can do for the benefit of my drumming comrades around the world. Now, what's new about an S-pad, you may ask? It's full of an undisclosed number of ball bearings that give it a kind of snare drummy sound because it rattles when you play it. Uh, it's got a sort of metal cassette with the ball bearings inside. Uh, on the top is the regular sort of rubber stuff he puts on his practice pads. Uh, it's a five inch playing surface and the whole thing is seven inches in size altogether. On the bottom you've got a rubber uh, thing, just a, a, a rubber coating that you can place it on any surface. You can't attach this directly to any stands or anything, but it'll easily just sit on top of a snare drum or whatever you want to put it on or your other practice pads. Um, and uh, that's it really. Let's put it here and see what it sounds like. Not bad, I think it's a lot of fun actually. Um, oh, I also forget to mention, you can stick it in uh, one of the uh, pods that Bill offers. You, know, you can buy it separately and you can strap the thing to your leg. So for uh, practicing wherever you are, it's not, I'm, I'm not that keen on them to be honest, but basically you can turn this very easily into a leg mounted practice pad if you like that sort of thing. Uh, which again is a cool feature to be honest. Now let's have a quick listen to the normal pad and uh, compare a little bit. Again, this is going to be a little bit quieter. That's that. Um, it's a little bit harder. The S-pad is softer, which personally I prefer a little bit. So there you go, the Bill Sanders brand new S-Pad practice pad. I'd almost call it an instrument. It's a lot of fun to play, it's pretty expressive, and I believe it's available in shops now. So go and get yourself one and have some fun with it.